Hello everyone, welcome to Lexi's Weekly Lexicon. Hey everyone, so I was talking to in my other video, which I'll put a link down there, uh, about New Year's resolutions. And so I was referring to something that I did after, for like a graduation resolution in May that I started. Today's video, I'm going to talk about nail biting. So I don't actually bite my nails. I kind of, you know, pick them. I get like annoyed if there's little groove and little mistakes and I always try to like smooth them out which ends up just kind of pulling the nail off or you know sometimes like the little skin on the sides of them bothers me and I'm always kind of like a little bit of a perfectionist about that. So this kind of I, I've been doing this like as long as I can remember, probably like age six, seven. Kind of just got like, uh, it was really, really bad where they were, you know, really, really low and they would bleed a lot and it just was really bad and it did not look good. I tried in seven, eighth grade um, to really work on it. You know, I did like, you know, the that's the thing, the solution they have for nail biting, it doesn't really work when you don't bite the nail. So I tried a bunch of different stuff. The biggest thing that worked for me was nail polish actually because it kind of hid the little like insecurities in the nails and you know I would even like paint kind of a little bit more under once it got you know past the skin point. But just so you wouldn't see it, you wouldn't see like the little cracks and that's what it was. It just annoyed me when it wasn't like perfectly smooth and but the problem with that is I didn't really know about like habits. When you have a habit, it's you know boredom, it's just nervous tics. It's I, as you can tell, I talk with my hands. You know, I always need to do something with my hands. Like if I'm watching TV, I need to be um, constantly moving the hands. Not I can't just like sit there. <laughs> can't sit still. But, what happened with me is I kind of started picking up another habit and it's not a good habit and very bad. So I suggest that you have a habit that's good to replace it with or a lesser habit that you already do to just concentrate more on. Keep notes, keep track of when you're doing this. So I realized I was doing it more, you know, watching TV, you know, when I was bored and I needed something to do with my hands. Um, a lot of times when I was just like visiting someone or um, talking with someone, just sitting there. And you know, if I wasn't drinking tea or I wasn't, you know, eating at the same time, I would just start to fiddle and stuff. Especially if, you know, there's two other people and they're talking and I'm kind of just sitting there listening. Um, started the whole like do 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 thing. So that's the biggest thing to realize when you're doing the thing and that way you can see what you could possibly do to change it. Um, a big thing they say, you know, for people who like, you know, twirl their hair and stuff like that, you know, anything that's a habit with their hands is to, you know, for younger kids, they have like, um, you can put on like a pencil or a pen on the end of it. You can put like string stuff or yarn or have like a keychain that has stuff that you can kind of like braid and play with, you know, just kind of things like you can stroke and you know move your hands and things like that. What works for me is I tend to when I'm watching TV or watching a movie or something I am either like on my computer playing like you know games where you're kind of like me eh. you don't really need to be there to be doing it um, you just you know just clicking typing and stuff also, like, I play, like, these puzzle-type games, you know, Sudoku and um, things like that where I've just gotten so I don't even really need to pay attention much. I'm just, you know, writing or doodling, drawing, things like that. And 
some people, like, I started out, like, kind of sitting on my hands with a lot of things, which can work, I think, for short times when you're really, like, bad and you can't get over it, because, like, your hands might get tired doing something if you're constantly doing it for hours. And so, but the thing is about sitting on the hands, it kind of focuses your, all your energy into, like, on sitting on the hands, you know, like, so it can almost be counterproductive. What helped me was I kind of became like a grooming maniac, which kind of was bad earlier, but now it wasn't such, like, my nail picking wasn't as bad because I was in school and things like that, so I was constantly active. But, yeah, so I would start carrying, like, a nail file with me, where it say places you can go with a nail file, not, like, I don't think you can have it at school, you know, in, like, a high school, grade school type setting. You know, airport, that's, no, don't do that. Uh, but, yeah, so, I mean, if you're just, like, walking around and you're going to be, like, out at the mall or, you know, at a friend's house or something, bring a nail file with you because as soon as you get, like, a little chip, you're going to keep chipping away at that until it's like completely gone and then it's going to look worse but because you can't get it anymore it'll be there. I wouldn't suggest like a nail clipper or scissors just because you may go crazy but like a nail file is good because then you can just file that thing away a little bit. You're going to go under the nail, side of the nail, above like going like this. Make sure it's perfectly smooth because that was like I said, that was my biggest thing, you know. If I'm going like this and I can feel any little nook in there, I'm going to be like, ch -ch 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 -ch, you know. With focusing, kind of going on like making it grooming, it kind of was helping the habit because it was feeding my perfectionist and, you know, all that. Oh yeah, so with painting your nails, the biggest advice is to make sure you have a good nail polish. It doesn't have to be expensive. I usually get like $2 ones or 99 cents, uh, but, you know, just test them out and make sure, you know, the best thing that works for me is something that's, um, not clear, because I can still see the nail, but, like, a lighter color, you know, nothing too, like, showy, because then you'll kind of be focusing on your nails a lot, and yeah, and then as soon as it gets a chip in it, go over and just, like, cover it, you know, and like I said, you know, put it on and under if it's really, you know, in the annoying stages. Also, a nail polish that comes off easily. You don't want, like, a sparkly one or something like that, which is going to leave, like, residue and ruin your nails a lot. You want something a little bit more healthier. Great is if you can get, like, those SPF or, you know, those moisturizing ones. That will keep your nails a little bit more healthier because with people who do pick their nails and bite them. They tend to be very weak. You know, mine like completely could bend. But now they're like really, really hard. Like, you know, my biggest advice, you know, start with knowing when you do the bad habit. Um, create a better habit to replace it with or just try to reduce it. You know, reward yourself with little goals that you set and make it kind of like a fun thing and not like a you know bad thing but yeah I mean I started in May didn't really get into it until like more summertime end of summer I was pretty much relatively good I would have you know a few bad days here and there but I kept with it and you know once I got to I think September um, I think I was pretty much free of it and I didn't need to have any nail polish on anymore to, you know, obscure it. I was fine with it because it was kind of already big and they were getting, like, the nails were getting really hard at that time. So they didn't, you know, break that easily. That was, like, the biggest thing with playing like, sports and other things. They would break very easily. So now I'm not writing. I'm not, you know, playing sports and I'm not doing other things that, you know, make them break. And for the past few months now, they've been really healthy, and I just feel better about it because I'm not constantly, because it's not nice to be like, oh, I'm not paying attention, I'm just you know, worried about my nails, you know. It doesn't look that great to people. Some people find it very annoying, especially if you're making like sound or something with it. I can show you my nails now. They're 
very long, especially like these, you know. I mean, that was my uh, graduation resolution to change myself. And uh, for next year, for my New Year's resolution, I'm actually, this is my resolution, is to become more active on YouTube and responding to people and to kind of start this more as like a weekly thing and have this going. Yeah, I mean, also, you know, I'm trying to stay healthy too by, you know, just eating a little bit better and just making better choices with that. So yeah, so tell me in the comments if you have had any nail biting, nail picking problems, or if you have any bad habits in general, and if you were able to overcome them, or even just tell us about your failures, because that helps us too. And uh, comment below how you liked the video. Also, if you, whatever videos you want me to give advice on, or lexicon words um, for the day.